So we're in my solo show from the fall of 2023. So I made this painting earlier this year, and I felt like it was sort of the basis for the whole show. I made my first all pearlescent white painting in 2002, and then I made my first curve, which was actually curving outward in 2003, and then by late 2003, I was making concave painting for the last 20 years. And I wanted to go back to this very simple palette. It's all one color which is a little strange because you see colors in it that feel bluish white, orangish white, and that really comes from the way it's poured and also just the way it plays with the light. The daylight will give it a bluish cast, and then in other areas, the overhead lights will give it this sort of warm yellow-orange cast. It alludes to landscape, and yet it's still very much a gestural abstract painting. Here's the next painting in the show that I wanted to talk about. It's made with all pearlescent colors. I started doing these paintings back in 2004, and I've continued, but hopefully each one gets better. I feel like this is my best to date, and it's part of this whole geomorphology series. It's funny, I had Sean Scully in here the other day, and we were talking about this particular painting, and he started talking about a place in the south of England, not too far from Brighton, called Sheerness. He had mentioned it's where Turner used to go. The water stays shallow for a really long time, so it goes way out, and the water meets the horizon, and he used to go there at sunset to make his paintings. I've always been such a huge Turner fan, and I feel like you really sort of capture that magic of something moving and shifting in this painting, again, as you're looking out into this deep space. So here's the next painting that I wanted to speak about. So this is blue and white with just a little bit of black. I've been doing the blue and whites, again, going back probably to 2005 or six. I feel like this is the best one I've ever made. Again, it was made this year for this show. I love it just because it's got so many different kind of transitions of space. From the front, it looks like you're sort of standing at an angle as you come around. It looks very frontal. It plays with your sense of space a lot, but I think the light in it is just so luminous and amazing. I love these colors because it reminds me of this infinite space where the ocean meets the sky. been doing the Tondos since the early 2000s. I sort of took a break from them and then I came back to them in 2018. This is a very recent one. I've been doing these ones that sort of suggest mother of pearl, but the colors were never kind of spot on. And then I saw this plate at LACMA in a Eastern Asian lacquer show back in April. And there was this amazing plate. It was very large with this incredible mother of pearl inlay. So I really looked at the colors, realized there's almost no gold or red or orange. So I really stuck to the blues, these different shades of purple and some green, all pearlescent again. So these colors move quite a bit as you walk around it. And they sort of feel like these infinite landscapes. And I feel like I can do something very different with the Tondos. They just become way more abstract. It's almost like zooming in on a fine detail of something. So this is a metallic gold Tondo. And what I like about it, there's three different shades of gold in it. But what I like about it is it really kind of warps the space and you get this very three-dimensional feeling in it. It's smooth as glass on the surface. So all of the dimension is just an illusion. And uh, the gold ones seem to do that the most. 